but not least, we have Pisces. Hi, Pisces. All right, it's your girl, Bunny, here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. <laughs> so happy to be here with you. So, oh, I got to pause this so I can sound clear the area. One second. All right, sorry about that, Pisces. I usually will sound clear the area with my bell. That was really loud. And um, this is going to be a general reading, not a love reading. I may go back to doing love readings for February. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to Aquarius' spirit guides and ancestors and spirit team. And now I'm going to go ahead and welcome in Pisces, the Pisces that watch me their spirit team and spirit guides the ones that watch me and the ones that will watch me in the future so that we can channel the best messages for Pisces for their highest good and so I already have Archangel Michael here protecting the space for us we are going to dive right in all right what do we have for Pisces Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Rock and roll. Whoa, right off the bat, that's how we're starting out, Pisces, huh? We have death, transformation. All right, all right. That's what I like to see. Transformation. <laughs> okay. And we have King of Cups. Understanding. Six of Wands. Success. Awesome. Well done. Let me get some more cards out for you. And then we will interpret, okay? Trust. Wow, incredible. One more, please, sir. Ooh, this is starting to hurt a bit. Let's see. All right. Okay. We have lots going on right now. So we have death and transformation. We have king of cups, understanding, and six of wands, success. Okay, so huge, huge energy, lots of changes happening, okay? I feel like mainly, Pisces, the transformations are happening within you, okay? Whereas in the past, we might not have been so quick to open ourselves up to vulnerability and to love and all of these sort of gentle emotions, compassion, and, and those type of things. I feel like there was something that happened which, which sort of shut you down and um, made you set up some, some walls and some boundaries, right? And boundaries are good. They're always good, right? Of course. But... These boundaries were not serving you very well. Whatever happened, you know, when the walls went up, I feel like you closed yourself off to a lot of energy, right? But now there's been an internal shift, which is now shifting your outer reality, okay? And so I see that there's a lot of understanding and compassion not just for other people, but also for yourself. And now I'm not saying that you didn't have this sort of gentle, compassionate nature. I feel like that's the nature of Pisces, right? The water sign, you know, the, the lovers, right? But there, it was almost like this energy of like you, 
sort of strayed from what comes natural to you because of this emotional blow, right? And I feel like it could have been, you know, in a love relationship, right? I also see that whatever internal um, work that you've done has also shifted um, the energy of people around you, okay? It's causing them to be more open and receptive as well, okay? So we have Six of Wands, success. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory, right? You're going to be really successful in whatever it is. You're hoping to achieve right now, Pisces, okay? Um, it's just 555 on my camera. So the changes are welcome changes. It's really good. If you are in the public eye, this is also the card of fame and fortune, <laughs> Pisces. So let me just go ahead and throw that out there. Um, this could be, if you are not in the public eye, this would be some kind of award or um, it could be like a possible promotion at work. There will be some type of public recognition for a job well done. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. And then we have King of Pentacles, trust. So see, this is definitely the energy of you beginning to trust yourself and to be able to trust other people again, okay? I feel like there could be possibly also if you're a divine feminine watching this um a proposal of love coming in because you've shifted these energies within yourself if you are dealing with the twin flame connection it will have definitely shifted the energy of your masculine right we see the cup of love being offered we're seeing trust being grown between both of you right the, the pentacle, the king of pentacles is known as, you know, the perfect husband card. <laughs> um, if you were, if you were wondering, <laughs> um, it's earth sign energy. So we have earth and water here and it's the energy of someone who's very compassionate and patient, which is just like Pisces energy, right? All right. We have two of wands, vision. And Nine of Cups, a wish. So, again, I feel like something you have been waiting for for a really long time, Pisces, is going to be coming in. With the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment, right? It says literally a wish right on there. Can you see that? And it's going to come when you receive clarity, okay? So the Two of Wands is about having to choose between two different things, two different paths. It's almost like a crossroads, okay? It could also be about balancing out something in your life. But to me, it really feels like <clears throat> there's some sort of decision that you're going to come to and it could be in regards to your love life or to your you know to it, it could relate to anything it could relate to you know a, a job position um a soul path it, you know it could relate to literally anything okay but once you can clearly see what it is that you want and you make that decision and stick to it you know Whatever vision that is for you, whatever you see for yourself, it's going to bring in this wish fulfillment, this something that you've been trying to manifest for a really long time, okay? Because it's going to shift your energy. Like with this death and transformation, the energy is going to shift really quickly. And I feel like it could possibly be something work-related. Look, because we have seven of pentacles, which is potential, Okay, all right. We are going to move on to the Rider Waite. Let's see what we can surmise here. Why is this deck not shuffling at all? 
It's so nuts. She's like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I think I just need to get a new deck. This one is really <laughs> bad. So funny. All right, what do we have for Pisces? Oh, yeah, I can't even shuffle these anymore. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to give these away or something. I don't know. Oops. Pisces. What is the final message you have for Pisces? Ooh, Page of Cups. I told you it could be a possible love offer. Love offer. Also, I feel like, you know, things are going to be going so well for you, Pisces. I feel like you're going to find this whole new sense of awe and joy and enlightenment like you're going to start seeing things from a different point of view that childlike exuberance is going to come back for you okay and oh look at this i just said um childlike wonder and awe and there we have the ten of cups see so you just have to be patient and let these transformations happen i know Sometimes when things are shifting, it can feel really scary. But allow yourself to feel those emotions, please, my beautiful Pisces, okay? We have a love offer coming in. And look, we have this emotion of fulfillment, you know, with the Nine of Cups. And then you go straight into the Ten of Cups with the love offer. You're going to be flying high. <clears throat> I don't even know if we should get any more cards out. It's incredible. It's so beautiful. Any more messages for Pisces? Okay, beware of some conflict and fighting. That possibly could come in. Um, I feel like it's going to be. There could be some moments that are triggering. Um, if this is a twin flame connection. I don't, I don't know if it is or not. But it you know it's possible. Um, if you're here. I, I am a twin flame reader. So I tend to pick up a lot. And twin flame energy. Um, so, and a lot of people that watch me are twins, twin souls, because, you know, because I am a twin flame reader, um, you know, a, a lot of people that do watch me, watch me because I was doing twin flame readings in the past. So it's very possible. Okay. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, you know, there, there could be some possible triggering of each other. And, you know, I see that you, you both have the strength to tame these inner demons. Okay. I just want to throw that out there because these two cards came out together. And then we have the hermit. So this is about going within, finding the answers, enlightenment, right? Um, knowing that with these two cards, this is a beautiful energy, by the way, it's two major arcana. You have the strength to go within and find all of the answers that you seek. Everything that you need is inside of you, Pisces. You know, you don't even, you don't even really need my help. <laughs> you know, you already know everything that I'm telling you. You already know because you can feel it. You have just as a strong guidance, guidance system as anyone else and as, as strong as me. You just have to learn to trust yourself and to practice connecting with yourself, right? Okay, let's get two cards as a final message for Pisces, please. So just know if you do have some triggering moments with your person, that it's not the end of the world. And you both, oh, see, look, we have equal give and take energy. So financial wise, you're going to be fine. You're going to be, you're going to have enough money, Pisces, to be able to hand it out and throw it away if you want to, right? 
whenever it comes in, it's going to come out. And whatever comes out is going to come back in, right? You're never going to go without right now. Okay? Also, your person, right? It's going to be an equal give and take energy, okay? So know that when they're triggered, you're triggered. When you're triggered, they're triggered, okay? But it's it's an equal energy exchange. So when you are in bliss, they're in bliss, right? It's almost like this shared um, energy system, if that makes sense, right? Either way, you guys are both going to want to put in the energy to keep this connection going, okay? I see with the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles that you both have... Similar energies to want to keep this connection going. All right. All right. Let's get one more card. Why do we have the seven of cups here? Okay. So with the seven of cups, this is showing me that you have lots of options as far as your financial situation too. So you're going to have a few options that will come in, okay? And you'll be able to pick and choose. And all of them will satisfy some parts of you emotionally, okay? This is about, you know, cups are about emotions. Be sure, <laughs> Pisces, my beautiful Pisces, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I've done too many readings today, <laughs> Be sure to ground your energy before you make any decisions, though, as well, because I don't want you in this sort of dreamy, beautiful, hazy state that Pisces sort of like sustain, right? Not that I'm saying it's a bad place to be. I just want you to ground your um, self into these um, financial decisions that you have to make in regards to what what career path or what <coughs> excuse me hold on one second whoo okay what career path or financial endeavor you decide you want to partake in okay for some of you too, I see that there could be a possible new path of learning, right? You might decide to take a school course or some type of higher learning, like maybe a spiritual class or something along those lines. And it's going to open even more opportunities for you as well. Okay. All right. So we are going to move on to your spirit message. Which I think I'm going to do this one for you guys. Actually, you know what? Let's know. Let's pull a Moonology card for you. And then we will close out with a charm. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces. Excuse me. Can we get a spirit card for Pisces, please? All right. So we have first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. So again, this is about, like I said, grounding your energy looking at your situation, whatever that involves, whether it's financial or romantic, and assess the situation from all angles, okay? Try to see things from your higher self point of view, and then from your point of view, and then also from the collective's point of view, you know, and try to see what is the best path for all involved, right? And I feel like, look, if you look at this card, this person is deep in meditation. I feel like meditating on the situation, allowing the answers the answers to just come to you. 
when you're ready, the answer is going to be revealed. And it's going to be quickly and easily. It's not going to feel forced, if that makes sense, Pisces, right? Okay. So we are going to end with a charm. So let me give you the story about the charms. So I have all of these charms. Do you see them? There is five million. <laughs> Not really. But so the story behind the charms. I went into a meditation and I spoke with my spirit guides and said, I have all these charms. I don't know what to do with them. And so, you know, I said, what, what do I do with these? And so they gave me um, meanings for all of the charms. We have the love meanings in parentheses. I will show you. So literally two pages of meanings of these charms. Okay. I have love meanings in parentheses. And the regular meanings are not in parentheses. And it took a long time, but it's completely worth it to be able to channel for you. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. And I have my eyes closed, so <clears throat> you can't see me. So you're just going to have to trust that my eyes are closed. And I feel like if you're here and you're receiving guidance from me, that you do trust me. So let's dive in for you, Pisces. Ready? <coughs> oh my God throat is getting scratchy. Ooh, look. Lightning bolt. Da -da 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 -da. Awesome. Okay. Let's see what we got. I have no idea what that means, honestly. So I am gonna we're gonna look this up on this chart. Oh my goodness. It says, okay, so the love meaning in parentheses, it says suddenly in love or love struck. <laughs> I love that. And I put thunder, but I think it's supposed to be lightning. <laughs> I literally wrote down thunder. It's, it's, but it's not thunder. It's a lightning bolt, right? But I know what I meant at the time. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly in love or love struck so boom hits you like a thunderbolt beautiful and it the regular meaning is the non-love meaning is big change big change i told you so we got the death card which is means big change and transformations right big changes coming in pisces Woo! all right so if something resonated for you in this reading, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, please. It is completely free for you. You have to do absolutely nothing, <laughs> okay? But share with your lovely Pisces friends. I love you, Pisces. Bye.